I wanted to talk to you guys about what was the first Broadway moment that you had that inspired you to be part of this this community? What was the first show or experience that you saw that you went, you know what, this is my life? I saw a review, uh, uh, something called The Best of Broadway at Canada's uh-huh. Wonderland, and it had Sergio Trujillo in it. Oh. And I recently just met him again. I said, I saw you, you in that show. He was in it? He was in it. I mean, and it was, it was back in the 1900s. And then I started doing the choreography from it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Would you please do the choreography right now? I'm just a couple steps. That's so in front of me. Okay, so here we go. We got to like... What? She, her arms are up. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. The turn and Retire. And Ray. in. Retire. Oh, oh. Retire. <laughs> yeah. I've heard a plot for Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Can, we, yeah. can we just stop for a second and say what we have in common? Because Irene's, Irene's a dancer. She studied dance. Yeah. So, yeah. so there's a combination here. And then I have a degree in set and lighting design. So Beowulf and I can be friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, that's so, what we're all here for, to be friends, yeah. for gosh sakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis? Well, you know, I grew up in San Francisco and we, uh, you know, all the tours came through and my parents were theater enthusiasts. So we went to we went to see all of these these like first national tours of, of Broadway musicals. And I'm trying to remember what the first one that I saw was. But that was kind of my first access to what those those big musicals like experiencing those big musicals, what that was like. But, you know, and this will make me seem super old, but um those I Love New York commercials that they started with, that was like in the 70s, they started that campaign because the city was in such terrible shape. Oh my God, I loved those commercials with like Lena Horn and them, Frank Langella as Dracula and, <laughs> you know, the cats and like all of those, all of those Broadway stars that appeared, you know, in this sort of rapid fire clips of Broadway shows. I couldn't get to New York fast enough or to yeah. be a part of whatever that thing was. Beowulf, what got you? I saw... 42nd Street in, on the West End when I was, God, maybe 12 or 13. Um, and I do remember that really vividly. I think it was the first time I actually saw it, like a big musical done properly mm-hmm. um, and remember it very vividly. But I bizarrely, I didn't think I was going to do this. I, no? I really, gen- I mean, I thought I was going to be a designer, but I thought I was going to go be a college professor. Um, really? And uh, my father was a college professor, and I honestly, I think I just wasn't imaginative enough to believe that you could actually make a career doing this. And luckily, uh, my college set design teacher at Vassar, when I was thinking about, you know, I thought, oh, I want to be a teacher. I have to go get an MFA. And he said, you need to go to NYU, and you need to study with John Conklin. And I thought, okay. And I ended up actually turning down, like, some good scholarships at other schools to come to NYU instead. So it was late for me, I guess, that the, the realization that you actually could do it happened. Um, and even coming out of graduate school, I wasn't convinced I was going to stick around and do this. But I was ambitious enough that once I saw that it was possible, I started trying to do it. And, you know, thank God got lucky. I think it's worked out pretty well, Beowulf. I think it's doing just fine. Also, the imagination thing is not a problem. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that, that was my mind. Like, I believe you're probably one of the most imaginative people. 